Economics helps us understand the way the world works. When you have data, you don't have to rely on people telling you, this is why I did that thing. We're tracking economies all over the world and we have an understanding of how they're evolving. Economics affects all of our lives. We, as women, need a seat at that table. My name's Dr. Rachel Forshaw. I'm an economist at the Edinburgh Business School at Harriet Watt University. I'm Abigail Watt and I'm a research economist. I'm Abby. I am an economics student and I'm going into my fourth year. What really drew me to economics was the, the way we can use economics to get a better understanding of people's behaviour. It was like this, this secret world. People would talk about concepts like inflation, supply and demand. Economics gives you a wide understanding of the world in a way that other subjects don't. It draws on mathematics, it draws on psychology, you can think about people's behaviour. I think I would be particularly keen to dispel the kind of notion that economics is about money. Economics can be about uh, trying to make everyone's lives better, it's like making societal decisions. Economics can help us to do that. If we're understanding each other better, it'll lead to better decisions and better trade. One of the main reasons why I think it's so important to have more women in economics is because not only do we bring a diversity of thought, but we're also interested in different topics. I read a, an article by Professor John Kay that was talking about advice to his niece, Sarah, about the reasons why women probably shouldn't study economics. So he was talking about how there's it's really gender imbalanced in the field. There are far, far more men than women and that there are very few notable female economists. In the years since that article was published, all of the reasons that he gave why women shouldn't study economics have completely been invalidated. It is incredible how much economics as a profession has moved on since this article was published in 2003. We've just published a, a research paper which focuses on gender equality. And when we were doing that research, we were kind of astounded by the number of female economists that were referenced in, in the literature that we were looking at. There are these ideas that get battered about that well, women can't do maths, we're too emotional. It, it's absolute nonsense. No innovation ever came from just trying to do the same thing from the same person's perspective. Having both females, males, various genders and cultures in the world studying economics, I think that's really important because only that way are you going to expand and understand new ideas. Research has found the, the kind of general benefits for the economy from having more diversity in the workforce. It's not just a case of this is for women, but it's actually a case for this will benefit society writ large. If you're thinking of not studying economics or really anything just because of your gender, rethink that. Follow the field that interests you the most and just believe that if you work hard you will succeed.